Now, let's begin with the top stories making the rounds on the show, beginning with the Naira crunch currently ravaging the economy. The Lagos State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, Moyosiro Onibanjo, has said that the position of the Supreme Court on the Naira redesign of the Central Bank of Nigeria remains valid. The AG said the rejection of the old note by some persons and institutions in the country was contrary to the stand of the Apex Court, adding that uh, the new Naira notes would totally be phased out after the Supreme Court has pronounced it. And now from the oil sector, Nigeria pumped additional 31.1 million barrels of crude oil within the space of four months following improvement in security in the country's oil producing Niger Delta region, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries has said. Latest data from the organization's monthly oil market report for February 2022, obtained in Abuja on Thursday, show that the average crude oil output from Nigeria in the third quarter of 2022 was 0.999 million barrels per day, according to figures accessed by OPEC based on direct communication. This, however, increased to an average of 1.258 million barrels per day in January 2023, indicating an estimated daily rise of 259,000 barrels and 7.7 .7 million barrels in a month. That's in 30 days. This, therefore, implies that the country pumped an additional 31.1 million barrels of crude oil within the four-month period of October, November, December, and January. And the Central Bank of Nigeria and the Nigerian banks may delay payment of foreign currency loans due to scarce dollar resources. Moody's Investors Service has said rated local lenders have placed about $10.4 billion with the Central Bank in the form of derivative transactions, including swaps and forwards. Moody's analysts, including Mick Kabea and Lynn Mary, said in a report on Thursday. According to the report, the CBN's dollar obligations is about one-third of the country's foreign exchange reserves of $37 billion as of January. It stated that the Apex Bank had had to ration dollar supply to the economy to reduce pressure on the reserves, which declined from $40 billion in December after the country failed to take advantage of higher oil prices to boost output. And on food security, farmers in the country under the EGs of the United Integrated Farmers Association of Nigeria have scored the regime of President Muhammad Buhari Lu in tackling the nation's current food crisis. The organization said there had not been serious intervention in ensuring that Nigeria had food sufficiency since the current government came on board eight years ago. The national president, Unifan, Mr. Akinlami Aduragbemi, stated this in Abuja while addressing its members and representatives of other related associations, including the All Farmers Association of Nigeria. We'll take a break now. We'll be back for analysis of these stories. Stay with us.